Here at Waverley, events and activities are a key part of what we do and each one of them helps us achieve a different target in our community strategic plan. Our community and our organisation have a strong commitment to environmental and social sustainability. Whether it's a big event, meeting, training sessions, a ceremony or the staff Christmas party, we must ensure all staff, councillors and contractors deliver activities that are as environmentally friendly and inclusive as possible and promote positive outcomes. The internal events policy and guidelines apply to all council run events on council land or external venues. They cover things like how to reduce waste to landfill, how to reduce energy use at your event and how to minimise carbon emissions from your event activities. The policy is linked to council's sustainable procurement practices and strategies for social inclusion. Please remember to think before you buy. At Waverley, we acknowledge the traditional owners of the land in all our events, activities and meetings. I'd also like to acknowledge Aboriginal Elders both past and present. When you're planning an event, you need to think about sustainability from the very beginning. That will help you to think about what you need and what you should include and what you should leave out. When you're choosing a venue, you need to make sure that the venue is accessible to people of all ages and abilities. If you can, make sure the venue has plenty of natural light. That's always a good one because it'll reduce your energy use. Who's coming to the meeting? What sort of additional requirements may those people have? If you think about that early, you can capture it and you can plan for it. You can always ask attendees to advise of any accessibility requirements such as physical access or the need for large print handouts, audio loop or Auslan interpreter so they can be organised in advance. Picking everything up early just means it's smooth and easy and you won't be scrambling later. Make sure your venue can be accessed by foot, bicycle or public transport and make sure there's plenty of directional signage. If there's no reusable crockery available, have a look at the alternative list or contact the Enviro team for advice. The alternative list is in the policy and on tree. I use this chart a lot for my hires, um, just as advice and on the permit details. Always ensure easy access to water and think about the dietary requirements of attendees and make sure everyone can enjoy the food. Provide water refill stations for outdoor events. How you promote your event is also important. Think about your audience. Who is it for? Is it ELT, staff or community? Is it a formal activity? Can you avoid printing posters and invitations and invite people via social media, email or Yammer? Ensure your guests and participants can register in different ways including phone, email and online. Make sure it's accessible to everyone. You can also use like FSC paper if you're providing them. If you are printing event related information, make sure you use 100% recycled paper. Design for reuse, avoid dates on banners and don't overprint. Just order what is needed to help reduce waste. One of the biggest environmental impacts of our events and activities is waste. There are simple things to help reduce the waste from your event. Having the right number of landfill and recycling bins that are clearly labelled is one of them. Using reusable and recyclable decorations instead of disposable ones is a much better option. If giving things away, make sure they can be used or recycled and that they have a positive environmental or social message. Did you know that single-use plastic, polystyrene, plastic packaging, balloons and disposable water bottles are not permitted at our events and activities? The internal events policy and guidelines will help you implement the social inclusion and environmental requirements of these activities. Thank you for making sustainability at our events and activities second nature.